What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And this more League Baseball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Hey, why not? Let's play two. The second half of a midweek doubleheader at Blair Field for more League Baseball. A classic matchup we all know and love. It's Wilson and Lakewood. We've seen some real thrillers in this contest, and uh, we're kind of expecting more of that. The big star today, J.P. Crawford and the Lancers, looking for this win with the senior Andrew Mendoza on the mound. Bruins going to counter with junior Tyler Radcliffe, and it was Mendoza who was in trouble first. Top of the second, Bruins draw first blood in an awkward way because Sean Williams thinks that's strike three. But the umpire doesn't, and on the very next pitch, Williams sends a seed to left field. The ump says, don't show me up and think that you got struck out. Chris Betts there on second, trying to get this thing going. Jackson Foss bunting him over, but Kyle Clary reads at a major league level. That is just a great defensive play for the 5-6-3 double play, but Woods, not out of the woods yet. Ma -ma -ma Mark Maroney up the middle, Williams all the way around to score because... The throw home goes off the mound. That's just a gnarly trip around the bases for Williams. We're not done yet. This pitch gets away. It's wide, and with two outs, Matt Rivera scores right there. And you can see how big these early runs are by how pumped up the Bruin bench is. Well, in the last four meetings between these two teams, two runs basically just wins you the game outright. Clary and Mendoza get on in the second to try to answer, but Timmy Richards makes a snag faster than the speed of, uh, what, Zoom, I guess? He's there to help Radcliffe, and he's also there to help Radcliffe at the plate. In the top of the third, Richards follows Mike Simonson's leadoff double, fielder's choice, a clean single just past the diving Crawford to put Wilson up 3-0. In the bottom of the fourth, back-to-back -back singles from Johnny Pasillas and Nick Reeser. You can see there's a lot more offense in these games than these uh, recent Lakewood-Wilson matchups. And then after the throwing error still with no outs, the Mendoza line drive is deep enough to score Pasillas, so it's 3-1 Wilson. Well, Andy Hall telling his Wilson team, you know Lakewood's not going to roll over and die. That's not what they do. Two outs. I mean, that's just Manny being Manny. Manny Jefferson with the RBI suddenly... Lakewood within one run. Here they come, JJ. I mean, here they come again in the very next frame in the fifth. Turnabout's fair play. Crawford's like, Crawford's like, you want to beat me on the right side, Richards? All right, I'll do that to you. And then Austin Colvin, that's a beaut, hun. Perfect bunt with two on, no outs. That's exactly the way Spud O'Neill drew it up. Radcliffe forces two flyouts, though, from Pasillas and Reeser, a pair of great hitters, and that's huge. But... Mendoza with two outs, helping himself an RBI to the right side, nice little slicer, and Crawford flying around to score. We've seen that before as well. 3-3 three, three in the fifth, but top of the sixth, change of the game right here. Lead off walk to Richards, and he's heads up play, go ahead run in scoring position off of that pass ball, and then uh, Betts able to bounce this one off of the mound to put the go-ahead run in scoring position. Mountain was hot today, and then Williams does his job. That is a nice sack fly, and right here, it may not be dramatic, but boy, does it sure win ball games. That's the go-ahead run right there for the Bruins, and obviously they're fired up because they've got a one-run lead here in the sixth inning. Here comes Josh Goldberg for the save. Get it? Gold, Goldberg for the save? I get it. He was throwing gas out of the bullpen, but the seventh inning is never easy at Blair Field. And it's Crawford leading it off with a single, so Rabbit is definitely on. Crawford with a fantastic at-bat to reach base right there. You can see he's pumped up because he knows he's a threat to score from right there. Austin Colvin fails to lay down the bunt, but doesn't fail to drop this single into right field. Obviously not going to catch Crawford over there, so runners on first and second. Pasillas also can't lay down the butt, but not as lucky with his swing. 6-4-3 double play, and that's tough. Yeah, railroad tracks with Richards and Rivera. That's how you draw it up. So with Crawford 90 feet away from tying this game, Goldberg gets the Major League pop-up. I don't think that one's got the distance. Winner, winner for the Wilson Bruins. And a, a, a veritable shootout at 4-2-3. Only once in the previous nine meetings between these teams has that many runs been scored. Last time they scored seven was in 2010. This kind of shakes up the Moral League standings as well as we just get out of spring break and head into the second round of league play. Wilson moves into a three-way tie for first place with Polly and Milliken. This highlight video brought to you in part by McCarty Jewelry, here for you since 1932. And I, I think it's safe to say the Lakewood Lancers, even though they may currently be in fourth, will probably have something to say in what we're already excited about this second round of Moral League play. Exciting. I believe that's just the word of Moral League baseball. It keeps coming, and it'll probably just keep coming. And you should keep coming back here because this is GazetteSports.com. And we are Long Beach Sports.